What's up, Boss Don? It's Curtis Dondino, and today we're here for another unboxing. And so, um, if you haven't done it already, I kind of dropped like a birthday video where I kind of already talked about some of these sneakers, but more from like a personal opinion and why, because these were a gift, so why the gift was special. But um, that's not what we're here for today, but just if you want to see a more personal side of the Don, you know, that was, that, that is an option for you. In other news, uh, we're going to be unboxing some Lombard Curb sneakers and um, I'm very excited to do this because I just feel like it's been a long time coming. I've seen these sneakers for a while. I wanted them but I just did not want to pay for them. It wasn't like I didn't feel like they were worth the price. It's just like I will always put like some other sneaker first and then the next thing you know I would just be like yo I don't need to be buying no sneakers. I don't need to be buying no sneakers. And then boom my sister got them for me and I was like beyond grateful. Um, so when I'm opening up the like packaging and I see like the big blue box I'm like oh. You know like, I'm just too grateful. So um, these shoes have been like all over your Instagram feed. You've seen them worn with Lava hoodies and more specifically gallery department. Whew. Boy oh boy are you sick of seeing that. Me too. Especially those jeans with like the thing down the side. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So we get two dust bags and their dust bags are like a, um, I mean, they don't have the feel of it, but they like, like, um, what is it called? Like month cloth or like, um, the stuff that people use when they like make clothes, but it's like the basic cloth that, excuse me, whoa, whew, it's the cloth that they use to make like patterns and stuff. So we get two dust bags. It fits that vibe though. Usually I'm really hard on people about the dust bags, but like, I feel like the direction that this brand goes in, like, I mean, like it just fits, especially that artsy vibe as of late, you know? Um, so let me get some white paper and here we have the sneaker, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy because on camera it looks so pale, but in real life it is like the perfect dusty pink. It's like the perfect dusty pink because it's almost lavender, but it has like nude, like tan vibes. So it's really cool. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. We're about to get into it. So, I just want to start off by saying these are 41. So, I wear a US 8. This will be important later once I try them on and we talk about sizing. Um, so, these are mainly polyester uh, leather and rubber, it looks like. And um, I'm assuming that's what it means when it says calf. It gives me like baby animal, which is bad, which is very bad. Um, that baby blue be messing up my light, so we're gonna try to get that box all the way out of focus because we need the light. Um, yeah, so I think the selling point for these sneakers are the big strings. Everyone loves the big strings. The big strings really just say, look at my shoes, look at my shoes, look at my shoes. Um, I think the uh, overall vibe of these just takes a lot of us back to when we were, it would depend, I'm, I'm, I'm a little older than um, maybe the person watching this, but I don't know why that's safe, fair or safe to assume. I really don't know my age audience though. But what I will say is, um, overall, there was a time when I was in middle school where we all kind of went with this like grunge vibe. We wore Heelys, we wore uh, Vans. What were those shoes called? Fuck. What were those fat shoes called that everybody used to wear? DCs, yes, 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 DCs. We all wore DCs. And it's so funny because like last summer, like I remember, I don't know if it was last summer, it was a couple years ago. I remember me and my sister, we talked about like trying to bring like DCs back, but and they already kind of did. So let's, let's get into the details and a little bit out of the story. So beyond the big strings, they kind of have like this like, like massive string. And I love the length of them though because the length to me just screams like, hey, you actually can tie me. That's a big thing, because a lot of times you get short shanks when people make things this oversized. So then we also have like the biggest tongue ever. It's like the biggest, fattest tongue, like look at that. But I know these are gonna be comfortable because I have wide feet. I'm a little scared because they're narrow. Okay, so let's start at the front. We're gonna work our way around with the details. 
So on the toe, we have a very like 1S toe, which is just covered with like this rubber round sole. And it has like some like texture there. And they're like insignia here. Then we have some lines, kind of forming like the curb. Maybe that's why they call it the curb sneakers. I have no idea. So then on the sole, we have like this bubblegum tan sole. I love when it, stuff comes like this, um, especially when it complements the color. Like if they were white and had this, it'd be like, no, but when you get this like off-white sole and you have like this, you don't have to worry about wear or yellowing. And then we have like this gray sole. I'm so glad it wasn't like a, it's like a gray, it's like a, like a mauve. Is, is that the color? Like a, almost like, I don't even know what mauve is. Is that like purple? I don't know. But this is like a grayish tan, but it just complements each other so well. Um, so then as we go around the side, we have like some suede. And every time I see these shoes, they have like a worn look to them that gives the leather a really luxury look because it looks like this is actual, you know, imperfect but like good quality fabric i feel like when things are so perfect sometimes they can look cheap and synthetic i know that makes no sense and i know i'm hypercritical of like stuff with stitches off and stuff like that because when you pay a good amount for sneakers you would assume that they would be fair um so these shoes are i believe 890 dollars so yeah these are 890 on their site and they sold out before but now they pretty much have more back in stock scary vibes right so then we have like some soft leather right here and then we have like another type of leather underneath so it's like a really dope layered leather pink effect and it just it just it just is very aesthetically pleasing and then we have like some mesh and this is probably polyester underneath there and all the colors just complement each other greatly now something that you don't see immediately but like once you do some further looking you'll see that a lot of the what holds the large lace are these like metal eyelets and they are so cool the idea that these are just hiding here all along and i never really seen these before so i really think that's tough and when you think about how things are made a lot of times people don't do like intricate details because technically speaking you have you have to pay for a certain amount of units of this size that size that size and that size so to do that, it just goes to show how much detail and attention was put into it. Mind you, these are $900. The average shoe now starts at $1,100. So to get this much detail already for $890 is definitely incredible. Okay, so let's continue our walk around. So now we reach the back, and the back is pretty simple. We just got some lines. Kind of remind you of a Jordan 4. We've seen it on the Louis Vuitton. It's very common. Um, and then on the other side, like on the inside of the shoe, I mean on the outside of the shoe, we have the insignia once again. And it's kind of like, is that embossed? So I guess that's embossed into the leather. It just feels amazing too. It's very soft. They're very soft. They, like, I don't know if it's a suede. I don't know if it's like this like this type of suede, like that new buck type. It's just amazing. Um, we got a stick in here. Okay, so now I gotta like show you guys the tongue. So we gotta kind of deconstruct these a little bit because I want to show you guys something super cool. And I don't know if it's just me that likes this. Sorry, I'm so weird. But I love these two little designs. But I love this big like plate. It just looks so nice. Such a deep, and it's, it's weird because a lot of the details on the sneaker are hidden. So to see a person, well, see designers put this much detail into something and then hide it, it's crazy. And then we have laces underneath. Like you can kind of see them throughout, but there's laces underneath. And the laces underneath um, kind of match that like bottom sole. So I love when you get like a callback. It's just like storytelling almost. So we got those laces tucked in the inside. And then when you open them all the way up, we got some paper. And then, oh gosh, we have like this heavy big tongue. Yo, this tongue is it's thick. All right, let's get to the sole. Cause I'm, I'm really curious to know what he's comfortable. Okay, we got a pretty thick sole for what I'm used to seeing. So that's pretty thick. Let's see what's underneath. Oh, underneath. That's a bad vibe. That's a really bad vibe. So it says like shank board or something like that. Like, I always feel like stuff like this should be branded. Like, I mean, what do I know? It's very hard as well. 
but I guess. Um, I guess that's kind of embarrassing, honestly, to me. Like, I know you're thinking, who am I? But I mean, just as a consumer, I'm minding my business. But yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna turn the camera down, and we're gonna try these bad boys on. Yeah, so. Uh, Oh, they're pretty snug fit. I don't know why I imagined them to be like a lot like looser feeling, which this is good. And actually, even though they're narrow, I mean, even though it's a pretty fat sneaker, I always thought because of the toe was so narrow, I wouldn't imagine that it would be like this, if that makes sense. I wouldn't, I mean, <laughs> these are surprisingly comfortable. It has such a narrow toe, but I guess because the width of the sneaker is just so wide, they are super comfortable. I never expected them to be this comfortable. And they have like this big, you know, strap on the tongue that allows you to pull it up and adjust. And these strings kind of navigate back pretty quickly. I didn't mess with the inside strings. I just kind of left them tucked inside. And now we're going to just tie these. This is fun. This is really fun. Okay, this feel kind of crazy. I don't know. I might just like time and then like leave them or something. I don't know. We can figure this out later, but maybe maybe I need to like tighten it up or something. Let me see while we here. Okay, it's not easy to adjust like I thought. Pretty much like stuck the way it is, I guess, but. I mean, that looks pretty cool. So. Comfortable. So I would definitely have to say my toe kind of comes like right here. So I would definitely say these are true to size. Um, Definitely true to size. I mean, they're a little roomy, but like not like the length that you would go. It's kind of roomy like the width. So if you have like narrow feet, you may even like, I'm not sure if they do have sizes. Let me check and see if they do have size really quickly. No, so you might as well just get your regular size. So, and I love the way these pants come over this. Just a stack by you. Let me zoom out some so y'all can get a better effect. Tough. 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 Such a vibe, such a vibe, vibe, such a vibe, such a vibe, vibe. Okay, that's enough of that. Overall, Boston's, I hope that this video was very informative and helpful. We went over price, we went over sizing, we went over comfortability, we went over pretty much everything. Um, what I would like to get from you guys is your opinion. Let me know how you guys feel about these below. And if you haven't done it already, Please take a moment to subscribe. Um, I have so much great content coming out. How dare you rob yourself of that? Please subscribe, like, comment, engage. Do what you need to do because if you don't, somebody will. All right, boss fans, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and let me know what you guys think about the shoe below. Stay untouchable. Godspeed.